Hey, this is Jim. It's 9.34 a.m. in San Francisco, California on April the 8th. Please note that all discussions, analysis, and information presented are for general informational and educational purposes only and should not be construed as financial or any other form of professional advice. So uh, you guys will remember this chart from one of the videos I posted a while back. And uh, basically, it's a, a look at the on-balance volume for AMC. And what we had noted is right here at this point in... Uh, this was on uh, February 5th, on balance volume came down, made perfect contact with this green uptrend line, and I'll show you the point of origin on that. And then we started to rise. Everything looked great. We were anticipating contact, uh, a third contact on this trend line, this downtrend line right here, um, which would have taken on balance volume up to 550 million. And then we were looking for sort of a moment of truth to see if it could jump this uh, major downtrend, this thick red downtrend, to jump that, kind of consolidate, and then post higher highs. If that could happen, then we could start to see some of these levels up here. Unfortunately, uh, Adam Aaron diluted yet again right into another beautiful setup. Um, I'll show you point of origin on this real quick in case you didn't see that other uh, video or don't rem remember it. But on balance volume was, was starting to rise into May 2020. And then we had our second uh, high posted on September 2020 and then November 2020. And then what happened was, uh, and, and that, those are the points of uh, contact on that, uh, this green uptrend line. Then what happened here is on balance volume started to break out prior to price breaking out um, and uh, heading up into that first really nice rally in uh, 2021, early 2021. Then we consolidated for four months and then had the melt up um, leg, which is when I sort of got involved um, right before that May, June melt up leg. So that's what that looks like. And obviously, again, cause and effect, you know, you just you just can't argue with what's happening here. Let me show you the short term setup and then uh, I'm going to wrap it up. So this is the five minute chart again. In the last video I posted for you guys, we had this perfect setup. And what I was saying is that. Um, we were coming into sort of a moment of truth, and if price was going to track into this uh, price and timing box, which is this blue box, which it tracked perfectly up into, that that would be the first uh, instance within this, what I call a bear crawl down this important red downtrend line. That would be the first instant, instance where price moved up, pulled back, and broke to a higher high. It failed here. It failed here again on uh, March 21st, so the 18th and the 21st. And we had an opportunity, if it tracked, um, to both, uh, you know, break this sort of downtrend and this bear crawl, but also to get above this important anemoid daily trigger at 436, which opens the window uh, to an air pocket all the way up to, it was $10 at the time, I think. So again, Adam Aaron steps in perfect timing after the close, and there you go. At least uh, the stock moved down and hit this 385 hidden retest level, but then wasn't able to vibrate and start to move back up because, uh, he's given permission to the trading desk to, to dilute this, this stock into the hole, just to decimate it. And that's what they're doing. You can kind of see where they're, where, they're doing, uh, where they're doing the volume. I mean, it's, it's very, very obvious. So that's what that looks like. What we have today, now it's about 9.38 a.m. my time in San Francisco. So hour or so from now, hour or two, I haven't uh, checked the timing, but uh, we'll pass through the solar eclipse and coincidentally that's sort of when the algorithm lets up on this selling so let's see if we can't start some kind of a rally here after the solar eclipse and then this is a zone of strength up into sort of uh, 10 11 12 ish 11 would be more of a bullseye um, we've got 385 which is vibration right hidden retest once hit becomes vibration in my work and then the important anemoid daily trigger the one that we were about to break here prior to adam aaron's dilution has now dropped to three dollars and ninety two cents and it'll continue to to drop slightly um, every single session so that'll be back in play either into this window if we track or over into this area you guys see this other note here 416 to 424 interesting uh, but I need to see if lifting starts today in other words I need to see how the stock stock trades into this zone of strength um, and again it has everything to do with what Adam Aaron allows the trading desk to do in past dilutions, um, 
they've sold the stock, let it rally for two, three days, and then pressed it back down again to lower lows, and then announced that the uh, selling had uh, been wrapped up and, you know, um, and then the stock was able to start trying to regain its legs uh, as far as vo from a uh, velocity perspective and then start to move to the upside. So, again, we'll see. Uh, but this is sort of what things look like in my work. If all of this starts to track and we do start to see um, – a nice lift into this first zone of strength, which then will add confidence to this sort of lift window. In other words, it'll, it'll start to drop specific zones of strength, dates and timestamps into this window. And if that happens, then this you know, retest, hidden retest at 615 will be on the board uh, during the month of April. That's it from my side. Good luck, everybody.